Good afternoon everyone. I'm here at the Classic Motor Hub and I thought as it's such a lovely day I'd give you a nice little tour around the showrooms uh, to show you what you can expect if you are coming along this Sunday to our Coffee and Classics or what you can expect to see on any day that you may want to come to the Hub. Uh, so come with me as I show you around our main showroom uh, which is run by Cotswold Collectors Cars here at the Hub. Um, as you can see, it's a veritable toy box. Um, there's something for everyone in here is the cliche that we often say, but it really is true. We have everything from pre-war. There's a beautiful 1928 Aston Martin TS10 over here. Uh, this was the car used at uh, the London Motor Show uh, back in the day. Stunning, stunning thing. It's been recently... Uh, restored, so it's in absolutely beautiful condition. Um, next to that, we have a Jaguar XK140. Uh, we're calling it a bit of an outlaw. It's a very cool thing uh, with a, a nice racing body on it, uh, uprated 3.8 litre uh, straight six. Um, you can see there's some superb motorbikes lurking around in the background. Kawasaki 500 Mark III's. Uh, Benelli 900s, some rather unusual little racing bikes, a Fru in there, Moto Guzzi, uh, a little Triumph here, and a, a rather beefy Honda 500. And then I've just happened to walk past as well this lovely AC Ace Bristol, uh, of course the precursor to Carol Shelby's world-renowned AC Cobra. Uh, I think we'd tell you that this is the, the nicer car. But this particular one has got some fantastic racing history. Um, it's raced at Goodwood, uh, Silverstone, Mallory Park. Here you go, there's a bit more information on it right here. And it's got a Bristol engine in it, um, which was the preferred second generation engine. Uh, there's more information about all of these on cotswoldcars.com. Uh, we've also got over here a stunning Fraser, Ma Fraser Nash BMW uh, 327. Uh, it's a real pre-war peach. I say pre-war, it's 1940s this one. Um, but the interior on it, as you'll see, is quite something. Um, look at these Art Deco dials. Really very pretty. And the two-tone blue and cream colour is quite something as well. So that's that. We've got in here loads of other lovely stuff. There's a Austin Healey 3000 Mark III. Right next to it, a Connaught Type A. This is a, the very same Connaught that was driven by Sir Sterling Moss uh, at Monza uh, and Goodwood. Uh, I think it's Silverstone as well. Again, there's some more information about it for you. Yeah, Silverstone and Goodwood. And it's even got the man himself signature around here on the side. There it is. It's a very historic little race car. And on that side of that, we have a very nice Alvis Speed 20. Possibly one of the greatest hood ornaments you'll ever see. And alongside that, a rather lovely old Lagonda. Very cool thing. Uh, another Alvis Speed 20 here. This is a black one. And that's that. And then at the back here we've got a Jaguar XK120 SC next to a rather massive Rolls-Royce Phantom. Quite a, quite a British pair, huh? And over on the other side of the showroom, more motorbikes. These are a couple of racing Yamaha bikes. And lurking behind it, another stunning Lagonda. But in the foreground, one of the most iconic cars of this century, a Ferrari Dino. Uh, no doubt one of the nicest profiles of uh, any car, I hope you'll agree. Uh, this is 
quite a special little car, like a lot of the cars in here, has some quite uh, interesting providence. There's a certain Jean Todd, uh, who the Formula One former director, whose name is on some of the history for this stuff. Um, next to that, another Ferrari, more modern one. This is a 512 BBI in white with a cream interior. Uh, very cool, very Miami 80s Vice kind of look to that one. Um, sometimes a bit underappreciated, the 512s. Um, not everyone's cup of tea in white, but I think it's quite cool. Uh, next to that, one of the latest cars to come in here at the Classic Motor Hub. This is an absolutely stunning AC Aseka. Uh, this particular car has come in so recently, it doesn't even have a ticket on it yet. But I can tell you that this is a car that first belonged to Ian Fleming, the James Bond author. Uh, you may have already seen a picture of this on our social media, but it's absolutely gorgeous from basically any angle. Um, similar to the AC Ace I've already shown you, but with a coupe hard top, of course. Um, but yes, this has just come in for sale and is, uh, is quite lovely. And uh, as if you uh, couldn't get much nicer, behind it, this Lancia Aurelia. Now this one was Lancia's 1951 Geneva Motor Show car um, and is a Pebble, uh, Pebble Beach Concourse award winner, amongst others. It's in absolutely incredible condition. Um, there, there's a bit of information about it for you. But as you will see here, look at that interior. Dials, the wheel, it's all very beautiful. It even has its own little luggage set on the back seat there. It's got a uh, quite a big wheelbase on it, this one. Would rival a transit van, this wheelbase. But uh, very pretty, very pretty indeed. Um, back round to the front of the showroom, a couple more that I did miss out on the first time round. A, a very cool Cayman GT4. This one has got, I think, just under 540 miles on it. So it's barely been used, which is a bit of a shame, really, but it's in stunning condition. Very cool car for track days, for, for daily, for, for whatever you want, really. But it's a real driver's car, that one. Next to it, a uh, rather more... Uh, Classic Porsche, a Porsche 356. This is a C model, um, C Coupe. It's a beautiful, beautiful white example. Um, ooh, okay, so there you are. Uh, very pretty. Obviously, not quite the same power as the GT4 next to it, but in terms of style, you, you can't get much better than that in Porsche land. And finally, a car that you may well have seen on our social media before is this uh, Bentley Ember Ecos here. It's a Bentley Derby, original Bentley running gear chassis engine uh, with a, uh, a special body on it that was hand-built over the course of seven years by Bob Peterson, uh, who is a well-known Bentley builder. Um, the back of it, with the, it's got such a cool symmetry to it with this double window and double fuel cap. Very cool. Always gets a lot of attention at our events. And we can tell you that it is now for sale, officially. Um, I can't tell you the price, but if you're interested, of course, do get in touch. So that's everything here in the Cotswold Collector's Car showroom today. Uh, there's always something exciting. There are more cars I could show you, but that will do for this video uh, on a Friday afternoon. Uh, we look forward to seeing a lot of you here on Sunday for our Coffee and Classics event. If you missed out pre-registering this time, do register with us for our Sunday event. Registration is now open on, on the website. Sorry, August event. And, uh, registration is now available on our website. That's Sunday the 5th of August. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and do come along and see us again soon.